Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's play Open XCOM Area 51. When we last left off, there was a extraction site over here which we cannot abort easily. So uh, we'll use it to train ourselves up a little bit. I have uh, in between episodes equipped uh, the craft with uh, all our Sonic troopers, gave them all uh, flying armor and uh, Siams. And we'll just go there, panic a few aliens and try to abort as soon as possible. So let's take Avenger number one, go to extraction site, but maybe not... Maybe not uh, directly, maybe let's go... First... Here... And then go there, so redirect, select new target, go right here. It's day. And there's a stolen data disk and things like that. We don't care too much. We'll just try to abort. So, it's a ship. That's very nice. We see a lot. But I assume the map, yeah, the map is bigger than that. We see half the map and uh, the exit is uh, not down here. There's the... There's the data disk, craft weapons research. That's nice. Ivan, take that with you. And we'll need to find... Um, well, I probably will have to go through here. But I have these things. So let's go up and this way. We already see someone. Not sure whom. Where are you? It's a Reaper. Okay, Reaper. Uh, we can easily mine control reapers, can't we? Yes, we can. And he will be so kind to uh, scout for us. Or not, if he's stuck. There's nothing over here. Yeah, he's totally stuck here. Poor reaper can't even move. <laughs> well, fine. So stay here, we'll uh, use you as a has a nice uh, training opportunity. Hello there, civilian. Okay, so um, hover tank. Please continue. And there doesn't seem to be anything else over here. It's a typical terror from the deep terrain. Let's uh, go up all the way and try this way maybe. We see yet another one. This one might be even dangerous. So let's see. Private Arcturus. You can mind control as well. Good job. Let's just... Uh... Really? <laughs> okay, he missed. Looks like it. But uh, that's not what we wanted to do. What I want to do probably is to explore. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anyone here either. How much bigger? Not much bigger. Where is the exit area though? It must be on the other side. Alright then. You're fine, floater. I don't care about floaters that much, to be honest. Yeah can't see anybody else. So what we will do now is uh, wait a turn and everybody will uh, get their experience so that we don't have to do it uh, anymore. You can come closer. the same. I won't be doing more than this, I believe. Um, you don't want to see me clicking on that panic button so many times. But at least the first round so that um, everybody gets uh, at least one experience. These guys are not very skilled, are they? <laughs> okay, maybe you should um, 
blast your way through there. JG, you should be better. Yeah, you can see that. Perfect. Myrtle, you as well. Nice. Janitor, maybe. Very good. Come up. And here. Axton. Yeah, now you have experience too. See how easy it is. Next, Eric Johnson. Perfect. Hartenstein. Oops, not mind control. Like this. Castle ring. That's fine. Papst. Yeah, training with everybody does take a lot of time, doesn't it? <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Maybe you should uh, try this exactly. And now let's see what they do. Of course, this guy goes berserk. I didn't expect anything else. There's somebody close to the... Oh, oh, we need to kill this guy because otherwise he'll eat the civilian. <laughs> okay, that should not be a problem. Where's the exit? Ah, there's the exit, look at that. There's a guy there as well, there's a second guy, third guy. Okay, we can totally, we can totally deal with them, I think. Uh, who's the closest and still still good and I think there was somebody there as well I think private Arcturus is not very well trained maybe okay let's uh, Dr. Zyman but you're very far away you are also very far away uh, Sugaran JG Myrtle okay Myrtle you can actually mind control wow all the way there that's incredible Okay, so um, fine. First, then, really? Wow, okay. Much better. But uh, we still need more, so let's take Ivan Dogovic. What do you think, Ivan? No. How about... JG? Yeah, JG is skilled enough. And uh, we get full time units, even though he's shot already. <laughs> Almost double kill. Only almost. I hope this won't count as um, you know uh, loss on our side because he was mind controlled now we still need to take care of this guy so second or tank this guy is not important he's disarmed there's another one And uh, we need to go there, okay. So everybody will try to go there. Everybody already got their experience, so really no point staying anywhere. That worked. Drop the weapon, stay there. And let's 
check it a little bit more. I think now we can just uh, just abort. Yeah, after we deal with this guy. Maybe somebody can shoot at him. How am I supposed to get up here? Alright, this way. Yeah, Dr. Zaman, you can do it. I knew you could do it. But he still can't go out. And we can't uh, destroy the terrain either, so... Go away, don't eat that civilian by accident. Okay. And... Uh, this guy. Oh, come on. <laughs> I need to make a hole here as well. All right. Just takes a little bit of time. This one is important as well. That's a new guy. What I wanted to do is stun them. Oh, that was not a stun weapon. Okay. <laughs> That's cool, Myrtle. This guy will be dangerous, I assume. You can go away. There's more. Wow. Cool. Maybe, you know what? Maybe we can even kill all of them. I mean, they are easy to spot. Really easy to spot. Easy to kill as well. Maybe not that easy, but um, yeah, <laughs> we need somebody who can actually do it, like you. That was an aim. Sorry, that was an aim shot. Didn't work. Okay, let's, uh, let's move. I said I won't be spending that much time with such things, but... Uh, if I can, I will try to prevent any disasters. <laughs> Alright, so here... Here, castle ring. Perhaps Doctor Zyman, Fire Phoenix, and that's everybody. Yeah, go away. That guy can't hurt you. We may even be able to, you know. like this. Uh, save all the civilians. That will be something. That's excellent. And that not so much. So I guess I uh, will need to mind control a few of them again. That's what we want. 
So you want to go here, get shot or something. That's fine. You still can't go anywhere, but somebody will kill you soon, I promise. Ivan is not very strong <laughs> inside yet, but uh, other people are, so everybody who is not so skilled continue moving this way. Private FC Rolly. JG is skilled, right? Yeah, he is. And you can try once more. That's my boy. And uh, kill everybody like this. Drop, come closer. This guy, I mean, you can just go up. That's all right. And everybody else, continue moving, please. I think we took care of everybody by now. Unless we haven't... Yeah, we have. Okay. Bam, bam, Axton, come closer. You'll need to kill that guy. That's far enough. Eric. Closer. Hartenstein, closer. I hope there are no more surprises here. We have spent... 15 minutes already, but uh, people will get some nice experience, so I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, it will take about 3-4 more turns until everybody can move to the exit, but it's totally worth it. It might even be quicker to kill everybody, now that we can chain one control. Okay, so we won't save all the civilians, that's for sure. That's, by the way, also a nice uh, commendation, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I should give it to somebody else. Okay, so um, try to go this way. And uh, people who are not very far yet will go closer. And people who are up front, like Fire Phoenix, 49%, will try shooting. Hey, that's a good one, Fire Phoenix. And then uh, you can go here. Second hover tank. So, Axton, where are you? That's a joke for you here. Good. Come closer. So, Eric, that's fine. Hartenstein. Make them come closer to us so that we can kill them easily next time. And you need to still continue. See anything? I don't think so. That's alright. It's alright. Ivan, Gregory Stevens. We'll just need to be very careful not to kill ourselves when we will try to aim at those guys. <laughs> Maybe I can... Nah, let's, uh, let's, let's go. I was thinking about shooting at them right now. Or maybe I shoot with, like, Myrtle. Nah. So Myrtle will have a good shot. Janitor maybe will have a good shot. Hartenstein. Castle Ring. Yeah, 
we are paying the price now for not being able to um, train early and mid game because we were losing people left and right so we have to do all the training late game just before we go to the last mission but hopefully you can forgive me for uh, doing that for a couple of episodes more maybe three four not more than that and it looks like the alien turns are really really quick so I'll just try to kill everybody probably probably not such a bad idea <laughs> Okay, there's one more over there, alright, I think you can take care of that, yes you can, and there's one more somewhere on this side, somebody will have to go and check it out, yeah, janitor, alright janitor. Just uh, bring him closer and there's one more guy, okay. This guy we can shoot at I believe. Let's say Ivan Dogovich should be able to shoot at him. Wow, and aliens have been defeated, okay so we didn't even have to abort. Friendly is killed by aliens. One. Ah, dang it. <laughs> we were so close to getting the Valiant Crux, I think, was the commendation. But uh, we got some psionic uh, skill on everybody, which is great. And some other skills as well. Loot looks good. Heavy plasma, plasma rifle, small launcher, grenade. I'll just sell everything except for the craft weapons. Okay, anything new? No. Okay, well, the problem is... I can't... I have to go through here now. And yeah, they are going to... Come after me now. Free craft, and they are a small one, okay, a large one, and a very large one. So, a scout, a terror ship, and a battleship. That's what's protecting this base. Hopefully, we can get away. I mean, they already lost us from the radar. They are quick enough. I am 5.4. This guy is 4.8, so he will not be able to catch up with me. This guy also will not be able to catch up with me. So we'll just hide in the base. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Once we hide in the base, they should not be able to... ...to follow us anymore. I don't think I have ever tried it. <laughs> so that's why I'm saving. It might crash or something. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, where did XCOM go? I don't know. Let's go and um, try to find them in Japan. That might make sense, right? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Hey, this guy, where are you going? Oh, away completely. Yeah, they are going. They are going away. So that was pretty funny. Don't do that with Sky Ranger or other craft because they will be able to catch up with you. But Avenger, Avenger can do tricks like this. Retaliation, North Africa terror ship. You'll be shot down. With our Avenger, because... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it should work. That's fine. Actually, that's not so fine. I can do this only because we are faster, otherwise uh, they would go after me, so uh, 
whoever decides to mod the hunter killers, make sure to make them fast, otherwise it can be exploited like this. Okay. Commander Guard Interception Southeast Asia. Oh, that's the guys who are leaving now. Okay. So, um, 25 minutes. What I want to do quickly is um, have a look at the commendations, the ones that are not awarded yet, and we'll probably go through them now, and I will read them, um, see if they are potentially obtainable for us easily, and uh, maybe you can let me know in the comments below which medal would you like to get, or try to get at least, and uh, maybe which soldier deserves it. So uh, yeah, we'll go through all of these now. I guess that will take the rest of the episode. So if uh, you're not interested, which would be a shame, you can skip uh, the rest of the episode. So first one is the technology, technical intelligence badge. Involves gaining knowledge of enemy ca capabilities through exploitation of captured equipment. XCOM gains knowledge and material from every UFO they recover. Soldiers involved in missions with every UFO type will receive this award. This award is issued once. Alright. So if we, if a soldier goes on a mission with every UFO type, which is relatively easy in vanilla, well, relatively, it might be harder in in mods because there's a lot of UFO types. So I don't think we'll get this one. And um, it's not any particular feat or anything, it's just saying that you've been on many missions, there are many commendations like this. I don't find this one particularly interesting. Good luck, good luck citation. The best luck of all is the luck you make for yourself, Douglas, Douglas MacArthur. When a soldier repeatedly defies the odds and lands incredible shots, they become eligible for this award. Presented for every three lucky shots, this citation has four levels. I think lucky shots are the ones with very low percentage, like 0 to probably 10 or something. I don't know, but very low percentage shots, I guess. And if you manage to hit three of those, you get a good luck citation. Now, I don't know how many of you have... Uh, such lucky shots already, if you maybe have two already or something. So hard to say if anybody gets this uh, anytime soon. Probably not, so uh, yeah. Well, let's go to the other one then. Metal Menace. A robot may not injure humanity or through an action allow humanity to, to come to harm. Isaac Asimov's uh, The Zero Law of Robotics. The ground-shaking crunch of the sectopod sends a shudder into the bravest soldier. The difficulty of bringing down this metal menace is recognized by this citation. This citation is presented to every soldier that kills a sectopod regardless of means. Ten levels of awards are available up to ten kills. We have killed a sectopod, but I think it was with a mind control alien, so no commendation for us yet but we do have the blaster launchers or are very close to it so this is definitely obtainable if anybody wants uh, to get the metal menace citation let me know and we'll try to arrange that Terran Cross Place your army in deadly peril and it will survive. Plunge it into desperate straits and it will come off in safety. Soon too. Every attack on an enemy base is a step towards victory. Destroying the enemy at their nodes of power ensures our progress toward ultimate supremacy. This commendation is presented to soldiers who participate in an assault on an alien base. This may be awarded three times. So, I guess it's only when you actually succeed because we have participated twice already and nobody got it. So this is definitely doable. I would have to go on a base attack mission, which I'm not so keen on doing, but maybe there we could get also the Metal Menace citation, so it might, uh, it might happen. Valiant Crux, this is uh, arguably one that's hardest to get. The true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. 
J.K. Chesterton. When terror strikes, it is a tiny few that can respond so overwhelmingly that all the innocent bystanders are spared the wrath of the unearthly menace. Any soldier that participates in a terror mission where all civilians are saved will receive this award. There are four levels of this award. Army's Potence Medal. Powerful in arms is the meaning of Army's Potence. An infantry soldier is trained to fight with many different types of weapons in order to defeat the foe. The award uh, recognizes the same agility and lethality demonstrated by these versatile warriors. This award is issued to any soldier who eliminates the foe with each type of weapon. These include firearms, melee, grenades and proximity grenades. There are four levels of award for uh, so much, so much and so many kills. So we can totally get that, I think. Uh, yeah, if anybody wants this medal, let me know and we'll try to make sure that you kill somebody with all four of these weapon types. Defender medal. I guess it's for uh, base defense, yeah it is. You cannot choose your battlefield, God does that for you. But you can plan, plant a standard where a standard never flew. I don't know what that means actually, maybe someone can explain, that's a little bit too advanced English for me. <laughs> Quote by Nathalia Crane. This medal is awarded to a warrior who has taken part in a successful base defense mission. Though the alien hordes tried to overwhelm this valiant soul, they held the line and ensured that XCOM maintained control of this crucial facility. Awards are issued for up to three successful base defenses. So we can get this one, we just have to allow the retaliation craft to um, find our base. Hercules medal. For a true hero isn't measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart. Zeus. Hercules. Just as Hercules was renowned for slaying many nightmarish monsters at his time, so too the recipient of this award has slain his fair share of terrible enemies. This medal is given to soldiers who slay one of every type of terrorist unit in the game. There are four levels of this award. Wow, that can totally be very difficult in, in a mod like this. In vanilla it could probably be doable, but man, this will be difficult. <laughs> medal of Sacrifice, given posthumously to a soldier who would not go down alone. I don't know how you get this, but probably if you die and at the same time or after or maybe like when you when you fire a rocket launcher at yourself and enemy maybe we could try that i think maybe horst would like to try that <laughs> um sapper metal okay there's a tank at the tree line it will steamroll over us unless someone can stop it with a satchel charge there's not that many men left I'll go, and I won't even try to pronounce that name. This award is given to soldiers who kill a metal foe such as Cyberdisc and Sectopods with a high explosive pack. Hazardous in the extreme, these acts of heroism are recognized with this award. This award is issued for every HE pack kill of a robotic enemy and is awarded up to 10 times. Have we not uh, actually done this? I mean, that's my standard tactics against Cyberdiscs. That's interesting. Well, we could get this one, it's relatively easy. To Helen Back medal. You can tell him that I've been from Helen Back. When the heat is on, I fire back in this cold world where your lighter's at. Let's burn it down. F -f fire back. Kit Ink. I don't know who that is or where the quote comes from. <laughs> Sorry if it's obvious. The soldier has seen it all. Crashed UFOs, landed UFOs, terror missions, base missions, even kicking the enemy's door and invading his base. This commendation is awarded to soldiers who participate in every type of mission. Oh, that can also be very, very, very hard in Area 51. There's many, many types of missions. Although the commendations may actually be, you know, like not hard coded, but uh, enumerated to only count vanilla missions. I haven't checked the rule set, so. If, uh, if it would be like that, it would be easier to get. Order of David. 
the stone sank into Goliath's forehead and he fell to the ground on his face. David is famous for slaying the giant with his sling and a well-placed shot. Although this achievement relies mainly on luck and does not provide greater damage than other hits, it is nonetheless noteworthy. XCOM soldiers who score three headshots will receive this award. There are four levels of this award. Ah, okay. So, I guess you can do this by... Um, when you have the flying armor, uh, go on the top level and shoot at your enemies from above. Then you have a much higher chance of uh, scoring headshots. So, uh, we can try that too. If somebody wants an Order of David, let me know. I'll... Uh, I'll give it a try, maybe. How many more? A couple. Order of the Forgotten. We pay tribute to the men and women who have not returned from the battlefield. We will never forget the sacrifices they made. We will forever honor their memory. Barack Obama. The terrible expedience of the necessity of leaving a fallen comrade cannot be denied. XCOM honors those who have given their all in such a fashion. This order is awarded to soldiers who have gone missing in action. We honor the ones who didn't make it home. Yeah. That's cool. So maybe if a uh, horse doesn't uh, go all suicidal, maybe we can leave him somewhere <laughs> and he gets this one. Order of the Hammer. Don't fear them, my child. We are going to kill them all the kingdom. <laughs> this medal recognizes the soldier who has mastered the art of killing aliens in all forms. No alien race is immune to their predations. This award is presented for killing a soldier of all the primary races. Further awards are given for 5, 10 and so on. Yeah, again, I don't know if uh, all primary races means just the vanilla ones or also the modded ones. I have been probably at the very beginning of this LP modifying the commendations so that uh, they do include the Area 51 races, but I'm not sure if I've changed them all. In vanilla this would be this would be pretty easy to get. Inferno Star. Of the four classical elements, fire is by far the most primal the most challenging, the most dangerous, the most transforming, the most visceral, the most fun. Seriously, which enemies would cower in their tracks if you appeared in front of them and proclaimed yourself to be a great water wizard? The rant. <laughs> this award is presented to those who have mastered the art of destroying the enemy with fire. The award is given for every five torched aliens up to four times. We can get this one as well, but um, it, it's gonna take a time. You need five torched enemies. I hope that the fire grenades or incendiary grenades count. If not, probably auto cannon with the incendiary rounds should be an easy one. Yeah, I get if... I think if someone wants to be an Inferno Star, that can be arranged. So let me know. Star of Asclepius. War is life multiplied by some number that no one has ever heard of. Sebastian Junger. By drawing intense fire from the enemy, this soldier has provided heroic assistance to his comrade. This medal is awarded to soldiers who have been targeted 10 times by the enemy. This award has three levels. Yeah, we are definitely not getting this one. If you're targeted, which probably means hit 10 times by the enemy, you're not going to survive. <laughs> This, this might be even harder than uh, than the Valiant Crux, unless we sort of cheat and give them some sort of pistol and we have a, we have a flying suit or something. Star of Valor? We don't have this one, really? I will never quit. My nation expects me to be physically harder and mentally stronger than my enemies. If knocked down, I will get back up every time. I will draw an enemy on every remaining ounce of strength to protect my teammates and to accomplish our mission. I am never out of the fight. Marcus Luttrell When the squad wipe is in progress, the soldier kept their head and managed to salvage the dropship. The lone survivor of any mission is awarded this medal only once. 
Okay. Field surgeon. We didn't get a field surgeon, really? But this wound was early, well within the 6 hours period, the rough yardstick for the field surgeon in risks of this type. If his uh, boast had been accurate, he might save a life. That was a strange sentence. Frank Gill Slaughter, Battle Surgeon. The field surgeon has greater skill than the combat medic and knows how to use all of the tools at his disposal. This award is presented to medics who dispense healing, stims and painkillers from their medicates. This award... Uh, this is awarded every three times. There are four levels. Ah, that's because we didn't use the painkillers, I guess. Well, that can be... That can be arranged. Globetrotter, given to a soldier who has defended every last country on Earth from the alien threat. That's probably also not so easy to get. Man of Steel. Arthur. Look, you stupid bastard. You've got no arms left. Black Knight. Yes, I have. Arthur. Exasperated. Look. <laughs> Black Knight. Just a flesh wound. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The iron constitution of this soldier and possibly his armor has allowed him to withstand multiple hits from the enemy. This is awarded for being hit five times and has three levels. Hmm. So here it says hit, not targeted. I don't know if it's the same as the Medal of Asclepius, just for less, uh, less things. But here it says hit, there it said targeted. I don't know what targeted would mean actually. taking names. These crappy little Vietnamese marines started kicking ass and taking names. Ralph Christopher River Rats. Taking names came from the idea of beating an enemy so bad that you removed names from his troop roster. This award is given to a soldier that kills one of every rank of alien from soldier to commander. That can be pretty hard here because the only two commanders we have seen we have taken alive. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's doable too. That's doable. I don't think we'll try to do it in this LP, but uh, it's doable. And last but not least is hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, given to a soldier who kills aliens with a deadly melee weapon. And I think I have said that we don't have any melee weapons in this mod, but of course we do. We have actually started with one, which is the good old knife. And there are some swords which you can um, research as well. So maybe we can do that and then uh, somebody will get the hand-to-hand -hand, uh, medal. So looks like we can get uh, still quite a few of them. I won't be trying too much, um, but if somebody wants one of those, please do let me know. and. Uh, I'll try. Maybe we can do this hand-to-hand -hand thingy right now. We still have a little bit of time. So let's uh, have a look. There's the combat knife. I'll need like 10 for everybody. Actually, I will not need 10. I will need just one. I wonder who will want to do it. Okay, so what kind of um, mission could we use for this? Let's continue with the Avenger, we have 160 engineers, that's fine. Researching the Martian solution and on the Easter Island the blasted bomb, which is both okay. Infiltration, terror ship, Southeast Asia, Retaliation Europe, Sectoid. Oh, this is a perfect target. So where's that? That's the medium scout. They will be coming soon. Terror ship infiltration. Maybe I can kill them first. Because I really don't want them to do anything over there. Yeah. What? What? Oh, there's oh, there's another base. 
Ah, right. <laughs> uh, well, go away. Cheeky little aliens doing uh, surprise attacks from bases we haven't found yet. So one is large, one is very large, and the other is small, so the same sort of stuff as before. We will try to get away from them. Yeah. Looks like they will get another base going. Wow, we really need to end the game now. And again, uh, they uh, don't continue after we have disappeared from the radars. <laughs> they just return. I need to find this base now, though. So there's this terror ship. There's the retaliation. That's the one we are interested in. And that's this one. Okay. So the one heading to Europe. Where are you going? Ah, that's this one. Okay. Come closer, please. And the other ones, would you be so kind and go away? I don't know what kind of uh, range they have, it might be a lot. Large scout we, we can kill, no problem. Yeah, they have a pretty large range actually. Fine, I'll first deal with this guy. He should not have enough to hurt me. Yeah, destroyed, okay. Uh, now, what's the other guy? That's a battleship, okay. That's a little bit... Uh, that's a little bit more difficult. So maybe I can make them... Interception. Hmm. That's the scout. Go away. I wanna I wanna kill the scout. <laughs> Rearming. Yeah, do that. Okay, I think I can go now. Yes I can. Alright. Then uh, use just one weapon, don't destroy them. Crash landed, excellent. And I forgot the knife of course so let's go back to our base take the knife with us where's my knife there it is and uh, who will get it Ivan Dorgovich already has a special medal Gregory Stevens sugar run Private FC Rolly JG doesn't have one. Myrtle does. Janitor doesn't. Axton, do you have any special medal yet? I think you might not have a special medal. Hartenstein. Does Hartenstein have any special medal? He has melee 34. Yeah, I think you're going to try. Hartenstein. Yes. So let's uh, take the Avenger. That's the medium scout full of sectoids. So it shouldn't take long to finish this. We'll also get a little bit of uh, experience. Ouch. Okay. 1 HP. 1 HP. <laughs> That's how useless these things are. So, not Hartenstein, but uh, Castle Ring, for example, will try to mind control. And there he is, okay. And JG, also mind control. You will be the one who will be used to get the award 
and you will be the one who will be scouting for us and you just uh, hide behind the ship please because I don't want to lose you the second hover tank can go and find yet another guy this is the guy we will use to train our skills since we are here, right? Ivan. Come on people, you can do better. Really. See, JG can do it. I will leave one for mind control. Just bear with me. It's almost over. Not Hartenstein. have him I can drop everything and looks like the entire map is now explored which is great come closer now they would have to be either here in which case they will shoot at this soldier or inside in which case they will not be able to go go out so I think Hartenstein easily go here and prepare uh, to cut the throat of this little sectoid and the plasma hover tank will there is a guy there OMG OMG Well, that's fun. Takes eight, so you can't use it anymore. Okay, go here. Don't get hurt. Okay. And you go down. Don't get hurt either. Protect him. Yes. He killed my... Ah. You jerk. Alright. So... Only Hartenstein doesn't have any experience. Uh, I won't uh, make this too long on you. Where is this guy? So how come we don't see him through here? Wow, are you serious? <laughs> anyway, we need um, okay, you know what? Hartenstein will come here. And this guy totally sees us all, but uh, that's fine. And now... If this is the last one, I don't want to kill him. 
so let's just panic him a little bit. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Before I kill that guy, I don't want to end the mission, obviously. So we'll have to do it like this. Sorry for doing all the panic exercises again, but uh, it does improve our chances of getting more psionic skill. So, and you're not watching anyway anymore, because I said that there will be no more mission after I read all the commendations. So, there you go. Cool. Just a few times more. Even Hartenstein can probably try once. Good boy. <laughs> I wonder how many shots uh, or attempts with a knife will it take. It might actually be quite a few. Alright, so Hartenstein first, we... I think this is a one-handed weapon, but anyway. Let's try it. Miss. 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 Kill. With one shot. Okay, that's cool. And now we just uh, control this guy, have a look inside, and it was indeed the last guy. All of the guys over there are just totally dead. Here's the last one, soldier and whoever. I'm not going to make this any longer on you, so let's just uh, mind control and end the mission. Alright, two live aliens, which we will send in a cell immediately. All people got uh, psionic training. Hartenstein even plus one melee, which is great. <laughs> and uh, we have some loot. Heavy plasma, plasma rifle, grenade, sectored corpses, alien alloys and soldiers. Let's sell everything except for alien alloys. And where is it? Xenocide, Xenocide, Imperio, Crucio, Athena. Oh, we didn't get... Uh, we didn't get the hand-to-hand. -hand. Oh, now I'm... Now I'm disappointed. Really? Okay, I will have to... Good that I made the save. I will have to debug what went wrong. Maybe maybe it just does something different than what it says. Or there's a genuine bug. So it was the last one here. Given to a soldier who kills aliens with a deadly melee weapon. Who kills aliens. So it doesn't say how many. But it does have an S at the end. So I might need to kill more than just one. Alright, I'll figure out uh, what exactly needs to happen here, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. For now, I thank you very much for watching, and when we come back, hopefully I'll be able to give a few more commendations to someone, um, and um, continue the research so that we have the Martian solution, the Sardinia or bust, and then go to Mars. Bye!